Hi there guys and welcome to my new video. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can actually merge two pictures into one single picture with transparency applied between them so that they look like they're melting. This is a way on Canva and uh, although it's not a perfect way to merge pictures, it is definitely going to ease the transition between them. So let us jump into the video and let me show how it's being done. Okay, let us go to Canva now. And uh, while on Canva, we're going to hop to a new design. So I'm just going to type custom dimensions, 1080 by 1080, and create a new design. So in order to make these pictures transparent in the middle, I'm going to use some of the previously uploaded pictures. And uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use uh, black square and uh, I'm going to use white square just to, to show you how this actually works. So I'm just going to make them the same size here. And I'm going to show you how you can make uh, these two pictures combined with transparency in between. So. Uh, the first thing what we need to do is we need to copy the white or black layer. I'm going to choose the white one and I'm just going to make a copy of it right here. Okay, now I'm going to slide it down under the black one, just enough to make this little space up to the edge. And now I'm going to resize it to fit the small space that I'm going to use as a transition. Okay, so that's it. Now what I'm going to do again is going to slide this down under the white one. Yeah. That's it. And to make this more visible to you, I'm just going to zoom it a little bit. And I'm going to slide the upper bigger uh, white square just to fit the size of this white part below it. So when I slide it back, it fits into a normal square. All right, so what I want to do is I want to take this small chunk of the white uh, space and uh, slide it to the black one just enough to cover the edge. Now in the upper right corner, I have a transparency button and I'm going to slide it back to 50%. Okay. Once I do that, I just slide the white one next to it and this is how we got a picture with transparency in between. So in case you want to do a simple transition uh, between pictures, this is going to be a handful tool. Although this is probably the worst kind of transition, but uh, you can do a simple crossfade by using Canva with this simple method. Now I'm going to show you uh, this process, but with uh, two completely different pictures. So let us hop into the new page. Okay, the principle is the same, just find two pictures that you're going to use and for the purpose of this video it is going to be these two photos, this one and this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the size so that these pictures fit each other. Okay, now uh, we repeat the process from the beginning. Now I'm just going to do a copy of the second picture and I'm going to slide it under the first one. I'm just going to take up enough space just enough to make transition. So the process is the same. Slide it and now slide it back to the first one. And from the first one, we just need to slide uh, to the right just enough to make room for the copy to be uh, put over the picture. So now, when I have done that, I'm just going to slide this up uh, here and I'm going to merge these two pictures together like this. Now, I'm going to do a transparency and I'm going to slide it to 50%. This is how you get the transparency uh, between pictures. If we zoom a little bit more uh, on these pictures, we're going to see that there is a tiny pixel line in between. So we can just drag this a little bit to the left. And this is how we get a perfect transition between pictures. Okay, so uh, once I zoom back, uh, we see that we have a picture which crossfades between one another. Now uh, I'm going to do a group of them. Just right click and group them together so that you can move them around and center them. Uh, and uh, do the same with the first one. Yep, just like this. And I'm going to download it. So I'm just going to do a simple JPEG and I'm going to download them individually. Okay, the first one is ready. Now do the same with the second one. Okay, now once you have downloaded those pictures, you can simply go to the folder where you have downloaded them. And once it's open, you can just go and uh, crop them so that you can get only a picture, not uh, this white outline. So a uh, simple paint would do and just uh, take this selection tool, make sure you this picture fits into uh, the frame what you want to crop. And now just hit crop and hit save. Do the same with the first picture.
Perfect. Now when we go and open those pictures, we're going to get only the picture that we have cropped. So this is how you can do a simple transition in Canva. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, leave me some comments in the comment section below if you want to know more. And uh, don't forget to check my channel for other various tips and tricks on uh, digital marketing, uh, Fiverr freelancing and other tutorials of this type that I'll be making. Until next video.